So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're gonna talk about in-out parameters in Swift. So without any further ado, let's get started with our Xcode playground. So guys, we have this variable called x right here, and its value is four, as you can see. Now you must know that when we use functions in Swift, we might have some parameters inside it, and those parameters are basically let constants, and we cannot simply mutate them inside the scope of our function. All right. What do I mean by mutating the value of that particular parameter inside the scope of function? Let, let's suppose if I try to change the value of num and if I assign some value to num, say I assign 6 to num, it will throw an error and it will say that cannot assign to value num is a let constant. So that's what my point is. You cannot simply assign or mutate the value of the parameter that you pass to your function. But what if I want to mutate the value itself and I don't want to return anything from the uh, function make double. In this case, if you see this, I have called the function make double. I have written make double and in num I have passed x. x value is 4. All right. So it returns, it simply returns me the double of x. It will be 8 in this case and it will not simply change the value of x because we are not simply trying to change anything we are simply returning something from our function make double. Let's just run this code and let's just see. Yeah, now you can see in the right side, we have a value 8, which is returned by our function make double. We passed it x, which is 4, and it multiplied it by 2, and we have 8 right here. But when we see the value of x, it is still the same. It is 4. It was 4. All right. Now, if I want to change the value of this x itself by passing it to this function called make double, what will I have to do is I need to make changes to num, which is not possible in this case because as I shown you before, it is a lat constant. But what if I want to make changes? Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. And that's where the concept of in out parameters comes in the picture. Let's just see what we need to do for that. Let's just first remove all the things that returns something from this function because I don't want to return anything. Let's just remove this. All right. Now what I want is I want to make this num parameter as an in out parameter. And this will enable me to make changes or to mutate this num parameter inside my make double function. So now if I try to simply double it by two, it will not throw an error. As you can see, it will not throw an error. If I remove this in out keyword from here, it will throw an error and I will just show you that. Yes, you can see that left side of mutating operator is not mutable. Num is a lat constant. But if I include the in out parameter keyword again in the parameter, you will see that it doesn't throw an error. And what it tells you while calling that function is passing value of type into an in out parameter requires explicit and operator. And why does it require an operator? Let me tell you that as well. If I put an and and then uh, write the value that we want to pass to our function, it simply passes the address of our variable. So you must already know that whenever we initialize a property, Swift allocates a memory to that particular property. All right. And that memory has some particular address. And what we are doing in this case, we are passing the address of our property x to our function make double so that the make double function has that address and it can simply change things on that address so that the things can get mutated all right if it's getting you know complex to understand let me tell you one more time we are simply passing the address of our property x so that our function make double can make changes to the address itself if you change uh, the value right from the address of that particular property, it will eventually mutate. Okay. And we are enabling our function to do that by using the in out parameter, which is the keyword here in out parameter. Okay. So now if I run this code again, you would see that it returns us eight when we call it. I mean, it doesn't return it. Uh, you know mutates the value of num to uh, multiply by 2 and it also changes our x value which was 4 earlier and now it is 8 as you can simply see 
it has mutated our value x which we pass to our function mutable so guys this is the thing that in our parameters enables us to you know perform or to do and this is quite amazing to me when i first read about in our parameters uh, i was simply amazed to see how it works and if i show you fun fact uh, you might don't know about this and you might never bother like me to you know know uh, that this thing and the thing is if if you tap on this uh, multiply equals uh, operator right here you would simply see this amazing thing right here you can see that our operator multiplied equals is simply using in out parameter to make the changes as you can see we have the lhs which is the value that we use on the left side we have rhs and rhs is the value that the, the value that we write the right side and what it basically does is as you can simply uh, see right here multiplies two values and stores the result in the left hand side variable which is quite amazing to see because i never bothered to know that what is going behind this operator scene what is actually happening uh, i always knew that it uh, you know kind of multiplies it by the value that you write on the right hand side but i never knew that it is also using in out parameter to perform that change if i take you back to that page again so you would see that the keyword here is in out parameter which is quite amazing to see we have the lhs which is a in out parameter as you can rightly see and we have the rhs as well but what we are doing at the end we are making the changes and we are saving the changes in our left hand side value which is uh, num in this case and you can say x eventually because we are passing the address of x to num and eventually we get the changes we can see the changes uh, inside our value x itself so guys that's all for this video if you still have any doubt about in out parameters you can simply write a doubt in the comment sections down below and i will surely reply to that and yes if you like the video please hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more such videos in future see you in the next one bye bye jai hind